y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Matt, this is Max Mods, and this is October update, guys, on the channel. So, wow, a lot's gone on in the last month. So, we are now in the new model room. I did the new model room video, which got loads of response and everything. And, yeah, I'm glad I'm in here now. It has taken a long slog, but it needed to be done. And I could only ever do it when I was got free time to do it and also when i was feeling up to it as well so it did take its time but if you look at the video what we started at the beginning to what we got at the end you can understand why it took a long time i thought it'd take a month and i think it took what on a, a month and about three weeks so it's taken its time now in here which is great which for the channel means brilliant because I can now model away without any disturbances, any distractions, any interruptions, interruptions, I think some disturbances, but um, yeah, and because I've now got a big desk and everything's around me that I need, I can now do a lot, lot more stuff, so I want to start working back on the trumpet of Titanic, um, I'm able to build whenever I want as well, which is amazing, you know, I'm able to get ahead on builds if I need to, or, you know, anything like that possibilities are endless so yes it is so good to be in here now and um yeah happy happy days ahead so what's been going on with the build so the titanic is coming to an end uh, we should get our last pack this month and then that completes the titanic it's going to be a sad occasion because um i really have loved the build i've loved the build from start to finish there's been moments that you know it's been very very stressful and i mean i just did 133 which was putting the decals on the uh, the gold stripe decals on that was a nightmare to do but it was achievable and i did it and i'm really chuffed i did it and used the decal sheet they provided but it's coming to an end <laughs> and it's been a huge part of the channel for so long has the titanic build and it really reignited my passion back for the uh, titanic something i i read a book when i was a kid on the discovery of the titanic and my interest peaked there and it, it's been a really fantastic journey um and i can't wait to do more on the uh, subject of the titanic reunited me to get some old collections out i had got sent loads of bits and pieces and got bits and pieces so it's been an amazing amazing journey and i will be sad when the model's done um and yeah um i hope it does come out again in the future because i'd love to do another one maybe on the olympic or the britannic or something but we still have the trumpet to build so we're still going to have titanic on the channel no matter when it finishes so yeah absolutely brilliant on that one <laughs> now the enterprise um i'm not being i am behind on the enterprise i will admit that but i did say on tuesday video i wasn't that bothered about being behind on it and the reason is I just love the build so much. And you think, oh, if you love the build, then you want to catch up. Well, and there's some times where it's absolutely terrible weather outside. You know, we're into autumn now. We're suddenly into winter. We're going to have cold spots, snow, bits and pieces where I can't go out. I want to save builds for then and do more. So that is why I'm not doing a huge catch up with the Enterprise D. Um, I'm still loving that build. I, I really do enjoy it. I really am um, this sort of section, even though it's very repetitive and it is very repetitive. Do a deck panel, do another deck panel, do another deck panel. And it's going to be like that throughout the build. But I love it when it's all lit up. I love how the way it's been built and everything. And yeah, I still really enjoy doing that model. Um, that leads us on to the Lancaster Bomber. Now the Lancaster Bomber is again, it's coming on, but a lot of people have been having issues with the engines now i kind of got i found a fix for that for the the propellers to spin that worked for me doesn't mean that it'll work for everybody else but it worked for me it's just very small intricate parts and we've done one engine after another engine which it's a little bit it's it's a repetitive and it's going to be nice when we move away from them and work on something else you know it kind of keeps your interest in the build still a fantastic build but the engines are a nightmare it's a different level of modeling i'll put it up there with the bismarck really 
where you're doing all the photo etch and all the details and everything it's definitely a different world of modeling and although i love the challenge and sometimes we think really am i going to be able to do this so the u96 again we are caught up with the u96 um that again it's been i had a couple i had the one of the hard issues to do which was fitting the front torpedo tubes in now i managed to achieve that that was brilliant um it's quite long issues though um which i don't mind i really don't mind when they throw a lot in there and we are doing a lot of the detailed work again it is one of them where it's a lot of detailed work it's a lot of gluing a lot of things on sprues and that's just going to continue throughout the build so kind of thing you're gonna to have to get used to that one but it's coming along nicely and actually today this recording i actually received my next pack of uh, u96 so fantastic you'll have to bear with me because a couple of weeks ago i had all the bottom of my uh, teeth out so i'm going to be basically having all my teeth out they're rotten they've gone i didn't look after them it's my fault you know and i had to be put under um sedation for it um but the problem is is i'm getting a lot of dry mouth now so i'm not I don't, some reason I'm not producing as much saliva as I should do. So I get a very, very dry mouth. Now I've got to go back on the 15th because they took all the bottom ones out. On the 15th to go take all the top ones out. So I've got to go through the situation again. It's not ideal, but it's got to be done. And then I can have false teeth made and that's going to be the way of the future. At least I won't look like I've got monkey teeth. But that's, that's the main thing. So you just have to bear with me while I uh, yeah keep having to uh, hydrate because... It gets very dry. So, the Optimus Prime. Now, again, I've done enough videos to catch up on that. Um, we've basically finished the top part of the torso. We've done the neck. And we're now working on the left arm. And I think the way it's going to go is it'll go left arm, left leg, right arm. And that's how the build's probably going to go. Um, it doesn't bother me, it's been nice to work on something different than the torso. The torso does look amazing though. I know I've moaned a bit that we spent so much time on it, but it does look really, really, really good. So yeah, that's the Optimus Prime. Um, and that is again, I've got that up to date. The videos will be released and everything for that. They're already up on YouTube, I just need to release them and then do all the relevant advertising on the group. Now one build I am going to be doing... And everybody knows this anyway, it's not secret, is going to be the Apache. Now that is going to be coming, um, I'm just trying to think. They said they start shipping from, or start sorting things out from the 20th of September. I've heard nothing from Agora at all. So I'm wondering what's going on there, if there's going to be delays. Now as soon as that comes, I will be doing it. I am on the 12 month option with Agora. And um, from what I look at, it comes in four stages per pack. That's what issue one looks like. So I'll probably do stage one one week, stage two next week, stage three next week, stage four the next week. And that'll keep enough of it going, uh, which is great for me. It's on the 12-month option. I wanted to do it uh, a nice 12-month option, nice and quick, stay current. Um, so, yeah, I am awaiting on that one. Okay, so... We do have a new build coming to the channel other than the Apache. Now, it's not one I've started yet, but I have been uh, collecting the uh, monthly stages for it. Um, it's not on Diagostini, it's not on Fan Home, it's not on Hatchet, and it's not on Agora or IXO either. It's a different one that I'm going to be doing. I know it'll be revealed very, very soon. I'm going to actually start building it very, very soon. Um, but that will be coming to the channel as well. Um, and I'm kind of looking forward to it because it's something completely and utterly different that I've never done before. And yeah, it's one, it's, a, it's an old part work, um, but yeah, um, we've got that coming to the channel very soon. And I'm looking forward to starting that one as well. So that is the builds as they stand. Um, obviously now I'm in this new room, I'm actually doing the videos in 4K. Um, it's something I've wanted to do for a while. It's something I've been looking into even when I was in the previous house in the old bear cave. Yeah, it was something I really wanted to try. So while I was waiting, you know, the months and months to 
start getting in here decorating i was collecting 4k cameras and i'm now able to bring the channel to you in 4k i've also um got a brand new computer as well it's a proper beast of a machine which is perfectly capable of handling anything i throw at it so again there's still so many possibilities uh for the future really for the future for the channel and it's, it's shaping up to be really really nice so i'm so pleased with the way things are going on now um as for part works um i love them to bits i i really do they they really do they excite me and everything but in the future i'm gonna have to look at the moment with the titanic ending i'm not really planning to replace the titanic with anything that's currently out there uh that i will say um because you know i want to wait now in case something else now comes out in the future and um yeah that really piques my interest one thing that is being trialed in france right now and that has piqued my interest now this is only a trial in france but i'm like oh yeah where do i sign up and it's this Okay, so we have in France a Yoda being trialed. And I'm like, bring it to the UK, take my money. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Um, I don't know what scale it is. So I don't know if it's 1 1 scale or 1 2 scale. 1 1 scale would be quite big. Even though Yoda was quite a small thing, but in relevance to doing the part works, that would be quite big. If it was 1 2 scale, though, it'd, about the, it'd be about the size of the R2D2. Because they were roughly about the same size. So, and it is based on the Yoda from The Empire Strikes Back. So, it's not based on any other uh, of the prequels or anything like that. So, if that comes to the UK and there's a full run, it's Star Wars. I'm going to be all over it. I'm going to be there. I, can, I will be there, honestly. It looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, yeah, I am all over that, definitely. Um, I think that the sand news is, and I think that most people know now, um, is unfortunately, uh, part work upgrades uh, is going to be uh, ceasing trading as of, um, basically they're taking orders up to the 31st of December, and after that uh, they will no longer be trading. So trading. So if you are wanting to order something, you have up to the 31st of December to order something, and then after that um your order will come even though you might be into the new year but you won't be able to place any new orders from that date uh, which is sad because i've worked with him so for such a long time done loads of stuff for him and i completely understand why he's why he's doing it you know and yeah it maybe the time is the time so and i think it's, it's just going to be a shame um that you know with with every build we've we've seen a blueprint or a power mod or something something out of the blue for a build so it's going to be sad um but what amazing way to go out uh out going out with a bang like that and honestly sadly sadly will be missed um i think a lot of the things are now the power companies are kind of you know they're kind of getting on board with um some of the mods so you've seen a lot more with remote controls now you've seen a lot um we've seen a few now with power mods and stuff so technology is moving on and i think that's just the way things are going to be happening so that is the october update guys i hope it wasn't too bad uh for you i'm chuffed to be in here i'm chuffed now i've got my new computer i'm in this room i'm able to bring the channel into 4k it takes a little bit longer to process and stuff but i don't mind waiting just to have that bit of a better quality and i'm hoping the new camera setup as well that i've done um we've still got like the overhead we've still got the build camera but now we have a top camera looking down um, we still have a side camera as well my only unfortunate thing is for some strange reason i cannot get the ca a camera at the uh, soldering station to work and I can't get a camera at the painting station to work. I do have cameras. I have Logitech C920s for that. But, um, yeah, it, they just don't seem to want to work properly. 
I don't know whether that's because I'm running Windows 11 or what, I don't know. But um, yeah, I'll probably try and debug them in the future. I've got a few things I need to debug in here. Um, I've got a, uh, a plug that's not working as it should do. I think it needs resetting. Um, I've got other bits and pieces that are a, a basically a glitch list that I need to work through until everything's up and running smoothly as I want it. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please can you give it a massive thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell and be notified of any future videos. But as for always, stay safe and bye for now.